Colorado Q&A video series. So we're going to get a bunch of your Colorado land buying questions answered. If you have questions about one of our videos, make sure you leave a comment because it could end up in our video series here. So the first uh, question or comment is from Kaweka, left on one of our Colorado property tour videos. Kaweka asks, is it unrestricted? So let's first define unrestricted land. This means that there are no restrictions on the land imposed by a homeowner, uh, a property owners association, deeds, easements, zoning, uh, municipalities, uh, cities, or really any other entity. So it's quite a list, right? That's a, there's a lot of opportunity for obstacles and barriers on land use. And honestly, totally 100%, 100% like unrestricted land is very rare. Uh, Quaka, I would suggest you focus on what the deal breakers are for you. Are you looking to camp or mobile home on the property? Are you looking to bring in livestock? Do you want to build a house or bring in a tiny home? You don't need 100% totally unrestricted land to achieve uh, these things. So at Compass Land USA, we do try to be as transparent as possible about any and all restrictions that we're aware of. Um, so for example, we can look at this listing here. Um, this one recently sold, oh, this one. So this is a recently sold property. And if you scroll down to the details section, so past all the images, under the map and in the property details section here so you'll see we have the zoning um, we put camping and RVing if that's allowed we put all the utility information we put access and we have an HOA field for this property you can see that these are the restrictions or lack thereof right there. This tells you the utility situation. So for this property, there are no utilities. Um, and if you're looking to build right away, that would be something that's really important for you to know. If you're looking to camp or RV, great news for you, you can do that on this property. Um, you have gravel road access, so, now no, eas so no easement restrictions to be concerned about. Um, and then in the HOA field, you'll see this property is in an HOA and we give the name and the annual dues. So you could contact them directly to find out about any restrictions that they impose, if any, on the property. The Forbes Park HOA is honestly pretty good. I think they do have a limit on how many days in a row you can camp or RV without a permit. I think it might be 21 days, but I'm not 100% certain uh, but other than that there are no serious impositions that I'm aware of at least we also include up here the county's planning and zoning department phone number and we do that for all of our listings so you can easily contact them if you have any questions about zoning regulations and we have again the zoning classification listed out right there as residential so you'll be ready to talk to them um, using the parcel number the zoning and figure out exactly uh, what the zoning restrictions are, if any. And I'll bring up another property in Colorado. This one actually just sold as well, because I know Southern Colorado, there's every area in Colorado is different, right? Like they're not all going to allow camping. They're not all going to allow RVing. So this one's in a different county in Colorado. That other one was in Castilla County. This one's in Pueblo County. So let's go back down to the details. Okay, so we'll see. For this property, camping and RVing is not allowed. So there are restrictions against that. Um, you'll also see that there is no HOA for this property, HOA none. And one other thing that's different is this one is accessed by an easement. So there might be restrictions upon that around who can use it um, and there's no utilities. So really 
you just need to parse through property detail information before you buy and you can use the county phone numbers to get as much information as possible and make a well-informed decision. So that is a great question, Kweka. Thank you for asking. Uh, let's do one more. So Frank had a similar question. Frank asked, is this close to town? What kind of restrictions are there? And he asked that on one of our Colorado property tour videos. So Frank, we've already uh, addressed your second question, but let's go back to the first one. Is it close to town? For all of our property tour videos, you may have noticed that we do a presentation of sorts and share some information about nearby towns, cities, amenities, and we share that information in the form of images. So you can either scroll through the images up here. I wonder. So I cheated and went backwards, but you can scroll through. These are the images that we share or right on the listing you can watch the property tour video and you'll see everything that you need to know in there. It's a great resource for you to help you understand what's going on around the property, what it can offer you, and um, see if it meets your needs for what you're looking for. So another thing that you could use is the map. We have a map on each of our listings, and this has the exact property location. So if I click View Larger Map, this opens it up in Google Maps, and then you can manipulate it a bit more and see exactly where it's at. And a cool trick for Google Maps is you can measure the distance between towns and cities or, or like a town to a grocery store or this property to a grocery store, for example. So we'll just wait for this to load. Okay, so let's, let's zoom out. So we know this property is in Colorado City, but what else is kicking around? Like what if I wanted to know how far it was from Pueblo, for example? Okay, so I could right click, hit measure distance, then let's just click Pueblo. And we're looking at 22.9 miles south of Pueblo. So you can also click the directions button over here to get directions from an exact address. And you can use the nearby to see what else is um, near the property. So I know we're running a little long, but I'm gonna squeeze in just one more question because uh, it's a quickie. So Miguel asked, does this property have legal access road about one of our Colorado property tour videos? So let's jump back over to the details section because we do list this out for every single property. And this is shown in the property tour video as well. So if you scroll down, access right there. Okay, so you'll see that this property has easement access um, and we only put legal access on there. We wouldn't give you an illegal option for accessing the property, that wouldn't be right. So for this property, it is legally accessed by an easement. Um, for another example, let's just see this one. Um, so this property, is legally accessed by Gravel Road. Okay, so every property could be a little bit different, but that is how you determine what kind of access is available for our properties, Miguel. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video series number three in our uh, Colorado bucket. Thought that's it's kind of fun and interesting to do something different. And hopefully, Koeka, Frank, and Miguel catch this video to see their questions get answered. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the video description or uh, in the comment section because you could end up in one of our Q&A series here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe that way you're the first to know when a new property tour or land blog video is published. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.